What's up guys, welcome back to Fight Challenge Friday. Today, all we need to get started is two chairs the same height. We're doing an L set, we're getting a little core workout. I just decided I wanted to do an impromptu ab workout so you guys can have fun, follow along. Let's get this started. <laughs> Make y'all comfortable. Yes. All right, guys, just do the best you can in this workout. Just follow along, listen to my verbal cues. I'm gonna make this start easy, and then we'll go to intermediate, and then we're gonna finish off at something hard. So let's just get started. Set yourself up. Chair should be a little more than hip width, and just place your hands, ideally not on the edge of the chair, but more in the middle. We're gonna lift ourselves up. We're gonna hold ourselves and do little knee tucks with our feet touching the ground. We're gonna start off and we're gonna do a set of 20 to get started. So lift yourself up, feet just off the floor, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. We're gonna repeat that one more time, but take a second, just shake out your arms, give your stomach a little bit of a rest. It's so the kinks out. What we're gonna try and do here is we're gonna make sure that there's a level for each person. So beginner, I can't make it any easier than that. Just just do the beginner level. For intermediate, I'll give you a slightly easier version but I'll give you the normal intermediate version. And then when we get to the advanced, I will also give you an intermediate and a beginner level of the advanced stage. All right, let's move into set number two of the knee tucks at beginner stage. And up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Same thing, take a little break. Let's loosen up. Oh, was shoveling snow yesterday. So oh, lower back feels a little bit a little bit spicy. It's a little out of place. Hopefully this will help it out. I find sometimes that balancing everything. I was doing, you know, shovel and throw, shovel and throw. Get a little abs in, balance it out. All right, set number two, moving to intermediate. We will repeat this two times as well. On this one, we're gonna do very similar to what we just did, except we're gonna go straight leg, up, down, up, down. We're just gonna do 10, and I want you to let your heels touch the ground so you can relax your hip flexors, and then lift up and down controlled. So you set yourself up on the chair, got your legs straight in front. We're gonna lift the legs up to hip level and then drop them, and one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if that's too hard, entirely too hard, and you just went, oh, there's no way I can do that, what you can do, which will come into play later, is we have one leg that ex is extended straight, and the other one's bent. So we go up and down with one bent, one straight. It'll make it about 50% uh, difficulty, I'd say. So set number two, get your hand set up. You can keep both legs straight or you can keep one leg bent and tucked. That's a slightly easier version. And 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because we need to have a strong core in striking sports, taking that impact, I like to challenge my core but not do the same routine all the time, which is why on the channel you'll see already, I think I probably have four, four plus videos on different ab routines. A lot of people just do one. The main reason I like multiple ones is just I get very bored with the same routine and I don't like doing the exact same set every time with the fear that the muscles are gonna get very strong in some places but are gonna stay weak in others. So changing up the routine constantly I find keeps the stomach very strong which makes it easier to avoid getting hurt when you take stomach impact, which happens all the time. There's no way you won't get hit. 
All right, set number three and the hard one. Again, this one will have three stages. Stage number one will be just holding the L set, but with bent knees. Stage number two of the advanced level will be holding with one bent leg and one straight leg. And stage number three will be holding both legs straight out in the L set. Again, like last time, we're gonna do two sets of these. This is a fast little workout today. Nothing too crazy in the duration, but this next set here will be fairly difficult. I'm gonna aim for straight leg to start. If for some reason my stomach's fatigued and I start to fade during the 20 second period, I will then go to bending one knee. And if I can't hold that with one straight leg, I'll bend both knees. So challenge yourself and make sure that you're starting off on a hard version. We will go in five seconds. Set yourself up and up. And halfway. And time. Oh, I actually got the shakes there from the chest working to stabilize everything. Obviously the stomach got a good workout there as well. We'll take a whole 30 seconds. We'll do a second set just to challenge ourselves. First one's hard, second one will be most likely much harder. Just breathe it out, shake it out. If you made it through that one, try to repeat the same thing without giving yourself any extra break or any extra time off. All right, five seconds, 20 second hold, and go. Halfway. Who I got the shakes. And down. Whoa. All right, guys, that was challenging, but I don't feel like I've done quite enough yet to just call it. These, these are just my little impromptu workouts. I'll do my proper workout later in the day, or if you want to keep going, you can check out one of the links up there, add another workout to, or another routine to this to make it a full workout. But for today, just to sort of max out this little impromptu one, I wanna do a combo of everything we've done so far. So we're gonna go 10 knee tucks with the heels coming to the ground, up, down, up, down. Then we're gonna go five straight leg extensions, and then we're gonna finish with a 10 second L set hold. If you cannot do straight leg, you keep your knees bent. All right, let's set this up. We'll go in 10 seconds, 10 little knee tucks to start. Lift up on my count, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight leg in front, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna hold it up. Ready, in three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, and relax. I'm gonna do one more of those. 30 second break. And one more time through. This is challenging. Definitely feeling a little bit in the back. Definitely in the core, shoulders and chest from stabilization are working hard. Let's try and get through one more here. Breathe it deep, take another 15 seconds here. Repeat one more time to round out the whole little core workout. Start getting yourself set up, starting with knee tucks for 10. And ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, straight legs, five extensions, and one, two, three, four, five. A little shake out, five seconds. And we'll go to the L set. Three, two, one, and go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. <sighs> 
Oh, I had the shakes there. Totally through the arms. Ready to give out. Challenging. If you guys haven't done these ones before, try doing them again. Try use, using this whole routine like once, twice, three times. You'll find it gets easier and easier as you get further on and your body gets more used to it. It's crazy, crazy good workout for learning to breathe and at the same time control the stomach because a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people relax as they're doing anything, but being able to squeeze that stomach and really tighten it and as it's squeezed, still be able to talk, that's a, a skill. And you can do that anytime. Anytime you're walking around, just squeeze your stomach. Just walk and try and breathe normally. Relax and then squeeze your stomach. And from there, try and have a conversation. It's a very good way to challenge yourself. This drill in particular is super challenging. How was that guys? Challenging enough? Did you breeze through it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't guys, get subscribed for lots of content that's constantly coming at you right now. Guys, train hard and I'll see you back here soon for another video.